As the wild asparagus yellows in the sun, Josh and Adam call upon the power of their elbow pits to launch them into outer space. Kick it! Like an eight-ton fatty pumpkin pie to the mouth hole. <laughs> I'm Josh. And I'm Adam. Welcome to the Salt Smack Cool Tools of Doom and Stuff. Brought to you by my expensive collection of TI-84 calculators and a box of floral print lotion-flavored Kleenex. <laughs> Thank you, Smoth Baylor. Now. Cool tools of doom and stuff. Design. It's been a big week for tablet design. Huge. The iPad Air is the latest iPad announcement from Apple this week. Yes, this new full-size iPad weighs in at just one pound and joins Ooh. an all-new Retina Display iPad Mini, new lineup 30. of faster and cheaper MacBook Pros, as well as the all-new Mac Pro desktop <laughs> cylinder. Apple <laughs> overload. Too much. Uh, Check it out at apple.com. Or just don't. Or don't. <laughs> and if Apple isn't your cup of tea, be sure to check out the other new tablet offerings from both Microsoft and Nokia this week. Tea, cookie. <laughs> <laughs> the new Surface 2 and Surface 2 Pro, as well as Nokia's Lumia 2520, are sure to oh, make man. some Windows fans happy. Check those out at Microsoft.com and uh, Nokia.com. Numbered names, it's the new thing. It is. <laughs> Applications. In other Apple news, ugh, they're offering up <laughs> their new OS X Mavericks worst name operating system ever and their entire <laughs> iLife and iWork suites for free. Absolutely free. And if iCloud, iLife, iWork, I can't take it anymore are your thing, then head <laughs> over to Mac App Store for those free downloads. And if you're looking for a great reason to break in that new iPad tablet, consider this BrewBot Smart Brewer. Wow, yeah, brewing beer. Woo! It's a device that allows you to brew the real beer, not the fake kind, <laughs> via your iOS device. <laughs> Already funded on Kickstarter, so keep an eye out for it uh, when it hits retail markets soon at cargo.io. Nice. DIY. And if you're tired of jumping in all those fallen leaves in your yard, then check out the DIY wildflower seed processor and leaf <laughs> shredder. It's a project from user Roptoberfest. Yes. <laughs> Using an old metal trash can and an old string trimmer, create a leaf shredder that leaves you <laughs> with a handy <laughs> collection <laughs> of wildflower <laughs> seeds. I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, check that out at Instructables. And once you're done shredding those leaves, you will probably have worked up quite the fall-inspired appetite, <laughs> uh, my friends. Indeed. <laughs> Nobody can argue that homemade apple cider donuts are <sighs> among the most delicious part of the fall season. Except for my grandma's deep-fried contestant donut. It's basically a sausage in the shape of a Taurus that you deep fry in <laughs> butter and oil. <laughs> Okay, Smoth, uh, this easy <laughs> recipe from Food52 is not a deep-fried torus of uh, tubular intestine goodness, but it features easy-to-follow pictures for getting those highly coveted donuts just right. Yum. Check out more over at Food52. Uh, yeah. Rock awesomeness. Newsflash, Elon Musk in the news mm -hmm. again. Yet again. Having another just new project. purchased... The iconic James Bond submarine car prop used in the film The Spy Who Loved Me. Good movie. That would be a Lotus Esprit by the name of Wet Nelly. <laughs> Musk is determined to mod it into an actual working submarine car. No word yet if it will come uh, concealed with uh, concealed machine guns. But uh, keep an eye out on the lakes. And no, through it's Musk's not, Twitter feed. It's really feed. not that big of a deal. I kind of already have one of those. And finally, the Anki Drive is the new toy car. Is it? Uh, that uh, aims to bring the video game experience into the physical world with their AI-powered car racing track. Wow. Okay. Uh, these aren't your Hot Wheels of your folks. Everything from multiple sensors on the car themselves to a physical trackless floor mat oh and gosh. iPhone controls. Hello. Kids these days are so lucky. These sets are sure to be a hot commodity on the holidays. Available <laughs> on the holidays. Available now for 199 bucks at Anki.com. Pricey, oh, too. Awesome, lucky. lucky Smoth Miller, what do you think of this, little buddy? A beer bot? Yep. 
I've had one of those since like the 60s. <laughs> really? It lives under my belly button. <laughs> it's mechanical in nature, but delicious for sure. <laughs> And hey, Mr. Adam, what's on Cad Junkie, good sir? If you are a Moto user and a Cad Junkie fan, my friends, you're going to want to check out the new Cad Junkie Zen tutorial series that is going along with the Cad Junkie Zen uh, UI that we've been working on for a while. Lots of great stuff for designers wanting to use Moto. Check that out over Crazy. at CadJunkie.com. Crazy. Crazy. What's on Engineer vs. Designer? Well, this week we talked to one of the co-founders of the recently successful Kickstarter project that's bringing self-cleaning aquariums into living rooms and also grow food, Mr. Josh <laughs> Rittenberg of Aqualibrium. Yep. Yeah, uh, we'll talk with Josh about how he got the idea and what kind of advice he has for taking risks with Kickstarter campaigns. Be sure to head over and check that out at engineerversdesigner.com. And there you have it, folks. Yep. Send your cool tool finds to Smoth at saltsmack.com. Sign up for a newsletter there in the sidebar. Or ask us a question in the comments or via email about DIY design tech or anything else Smoth would love to hate. I used to have one of those underwater submarine cars until my buddy Fred dared me to try to drive it through a bowl of soup. It had to be a really big bowl of soup, though. I've really never seen that much soup in one place, except for when my grandma used to make the whole family fall time intestine donuts. If you've never driven a submarine through a giant vat of boiling intestine donuts, you have no idea what happiness is. A production of EBD Media.